Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the web element functions. So we have already understood some of the web element functions, but let's go ahead with the documentation and understand some of the more web element functions that we'll be using very frequently in automation. Okay, so I have copied this browser functions three, wherein I have this code and I'll create another feature file. Okay, so this will be our uh, new test case. So let's say browser underscore function for okay I'll name these properly when I upload this code uh, but as of now let's quickly create a browser functions for and this is not browser functions actually this is web element right so let me rename this or refactor and I'll say web element functions okay so I'll say web element functions dot feature and this is the file all right let me close everything else and go to the documentation okay so now what all functions are available to interact with the web elements okay so if we go to the actions here right so this is the actions let me zoom in um so here you will see that click is what we have already looked so on the web page if you want to click on particular element right then i can use the click function in order to input some value in the text box right so say for example if we go to the page here or let's say so lab website okay so let me open this and side by side we'll understand so here this web element username right if you we need to type in the username here we need to type in the password in the password field and then we need to click on this login button in order to log in right that's what a user will do manually and that's what our automation script should also emulate so how we are going to input the values in here what is the function in karate ui framework that's what we are going to understand so basically input is the function right what is the function to click on the login button the function is click right and then there is submit focus clear right so clear is to clear right so basically clear is to clear whatever we have typed in here in the text box then focus is the current focus at the at the moment the focus is in the username if you see the cursor being blinked that's where the focus is now if i click on the password field then you will see the focus is in the password field so focus will help us to change the focus of our cursor or the mouse or control to the text box wherever we want to okay so this function will help us to achieve that now let's see submit so submit is basically similar to what the click will be but it's more elegant approach to handling any action such as click okay so we'll understand submit separately and see what are the advantages of using submit in separate tutorial but as of now we can use submit similar to what we do with the click function right so we can simply say submit dot click and then provide the details or the locator for the button or the web element where we want to click okay so let's quickly go back and understand all of these functions okay so some of these we have already understood all right so if we say for example web element functions here all right okay i think i renamed this one so let me copy something the same script which we had in this test here and i'll paste everything here okay so now what we were doing here is we were opening this source demo website and then let me remove this we simply want to input some value right so the function that we, wa we want to look here is input. So if you have to input something in the text box, input is the function. And that's what we have already used here, right? So if we want to input something in the username field, right, in the source demo. So this is the username we have to basically identify, right? So say, for example, if I simply not here, let me go to the Chrome itself, right click, inspect. And then here you will see simply copy. So copy the X path. All right. We'll go through the plugin, very good plugin that is there for locating the web elements. Okay. So that selectors hub that you will see that I have uh, installed here, which we'll use in future. Okay. But as of now, just stick to the browser uh, within Chrome, right click, inspect, go to the particular web element, right click, copy and copy X path. Okay. We want to keep it simple. We do not want to complicate at the moment because at the moment we are learning the functions rest we'll all learn later okay so that's what the basically where we want to input we want to input in the username field right that's what the x path that we have copied and then in the username what is the username that we want to input so this is what input will do now say for example 
I want to clear whatever I have input here. Okay. So there is a function clear, right? So clear is the function. So clear and then clear whatever we have input there. Okay. So I can say start clear and simply provide the locator which you want to clear completely. Okay. So with this clear statement, whatever you have entered here will get cleared. Okay. So we'll clear that. Okay. And then I'll again enter the standard user so that it proceeds further. All right. Next is focus, right? So let's see how we can focus on a different field. Okay. So by default, when this page will launch, the focus is on the username field. Say, for example, in your application, you want to focus on some other field and then start from that field entering the value. So how you can do that? You can do with the focus function, right? So star focus and then the locator of the focus locator where we want to focus. So here I can say focus and say, for example, instead of the username, now I want to focus on the password, right? So the focus will be now on the password and then let me not go ahead with these. So we'll go with the click there. But prior to that, we'll put some delay all right so here after inputting the standard user let's put some delay so we can actually see things properly right so we'll put three seconds delay after each statement right this is not a good practice but because we are learning we want to see when each action happens on the page and so we can basically go ahead and analyze our execution properly okay so after click i'll wait or let's yeah, after click that's fine Let's keep it three and before click, let's keep it five. All right. So what we are doing, we have understood about the input function, the clear function, the click function, right? So these three functions we have understood in this tutorial, right? So basically we are, we are, we are able to input any value in the text box on the web page. We'll be able to click and we'll be able to focus, right? Uh, and clear. Sorry. We have also used focus, focus, and then we have clear. So input clear focus and click. These are the four functions that we are using in this particular script, right? We'll also use submit in, in place of click once we do this execution. Okay. So let's now quickly run this script and see the results. So opening the browser. So it has entered the username, right? Cleared it. And then it should again enter the username. Then the focus should come to the password field, right? Enter the password. And then finally, it will click on the login button, right? Yes, it has clicked on the login button. And now it is on the inventory page. Okay. So pretty simple script. But then the purpose here is to understand different functions that you are going to use to interact with the web elements, right? Now we know that that if we want to fo focus basically on a different field, then the focus is the method. Method. If we want to input something, input is the method. If we want to click, click is the method, right? If we want to clear, clear is the method in Karate UI. And this document is the source of truth where you will find everything, how you have to use it and what all functions are available. So we have understood about click, input, focus and clear. Now say for example, I have to submit, right? So focus, I'll explain once more. I'll do once more because say for example, so here the focus is at the password, right? But say after launching, so after this page gets launched, immediately I want to change the focus to the password, okay? Because you will be able to see that after the page is launched, then the focus is not on the password field. It is in the username field. So it will change to the password. It will change focus to the password. And then it will, when it will come to this step, it will basically then input the username with this input method. Okay. So if I run this now, so opening the browser. Yeah. So here you will see that now the focus is in the password, right? And then it will come to the username, enter the details there, clear it, and then again change the, now change the focus to password. You can see that and then enter the password and login. Okay. So this is how you are going to use these basic functions. Now, instead of click, if you want to use submit, right? What is the difference? So basically we can simply say submit dot click, right? So this is more elegant approach, but the functionality will be same right so we can say submit dot click okay nothing more than that so submit dot click right so it's a function so basically submit dot click okay wherever you want to click 
the execution will still happen exactly same way no difference at all okay if i'll run this as a cucumber feature open the website in the password field focus then should go to the username clear it then again enter the username then came to the password field enter the password and this time we are using submit dot click right so it should still basically go ahead and click on that button and log in right so if we go to the reports now once it executes successfully see the reports karate reports summary so everything is all green and you can see that submit dot click and everything has gone through successfully right so that's how you are going to basically use the functions which are required for interacting with web elements so what functions we have understood in this tutorial we have understood how you are going to click on a particular web element you can use click or submit how you are going to input some values in the text boxes using the input function how you are going to focus on a particular web element specific say for example focus is not there you want to focus and then start writing something so you can use focus function to focus on particular web element and to clear the values in the text box use the clear function okay now value set is not required as such for uh, the automation i mean if it will be required i'll cover that but as of now i am not going to cover because it's more of a set the html form element value okay so if it is required in some of the scenarios i'll cover it separately all right so that's all for this tutorial on different functions available in karate ui to interact with the web elements i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching